YouTube is full of excellent videos on the basics of neural networks. Why am I still making yet another video on them? My target is not to go into the nitty gritty details, but rather to assure that you become familiar with the vocabulary of neural networks so that later we understand the coding part well. My target is to make the concepts easy to digest and reduce confusion when we will be designing a neural network using Python programming. We are going to discuss the fundamental components of neural networks such as layers, weights and biases, forward propagation, back propagation, learning rates, epochs and batching. Let us start. What is a neural network model? Well, before we go there, we have to know what the word model refers to. Let us talk in terms of numbers. Let us say that we have a table with two columns, x and y. In the table, when x is 2, y is 5. When x is 5, y is 11. When x is 3, y is 7. When x is 10, y is 21. Can you tell me what is the value of y when x is 12? Exactly, y is 25. How did you do that? When I was telling you the numbers, your brain was looking for patterns. And you observed that every time y was 2 times x plus 1. That is, the data demonstrated that y is equal to 2 times x plus 1. We can generalize it in an equation y is w times x plus c. This is linear regression. To predict the variable y, we have a weight w and we have a constant c. Based on the data, we determined that w is 2 and c is 1. I'm not going deep inside linear regression. I'll provide a link to another video on linear regression in the description section. Now let's talk about what is a model. For this particular data, the model to predict the variable y is composed of two things. One weight, which is the multiplication factor w, and another item is the constant c, which is known as bias. Again, the model is nothing but these two values for this data table. If I had two x values, such as if we wanted to predict y from x1 and x2 columns, then the linear regression equation will be y equal to w1 times x1 plus w2 times x2 plus c. If I had three x values, such as if we wanted to predict the y column, from x1, x2, and x3 columns, then the linear regression equation will be y equal to w1 times x1 plus w2 times x2 plus w3 times x3 plus c. These x values are independent variables or inputs. The y value is the dependent variable in this context. When we use the word model, we do not refer to the data. Rather, we refer to what we learned about how to predict something about the data for new samples. In this case, when we just had one independent variable, x, and our equation is y equal to wx plus c, the weight w and the bias c together they form the model. The weight w and bias c help us predict the value of y given an x value. In this equation where we had x1, x2, and x3, the word model refers to three weights w1, w2, and w3, and one bias c. Therefore, given the data, modeling actually means figuring out the weights and biases for prediction. Now let us talk about neural network modeling. In a neural network, instead of one linear unit, there are many linear units. The combination of the linear units creates a nonlinear functionality which results in a much more accurate prediction capturing complex relationships between the input and output variables. Okay, let us say that we have a data set which has several columns or variables like water amount, fertilizer amount, salinity level, and pecan production. These three columns, 
water amount, fertilizer amount, and salinity level are independent variables equivalent to x1, x2, and x3 of our linear regression equation that we discussed just a minute before. Pecan production is the dependent variable y. We want to create a neural network that will take these three variables or values and try to predict the pecan production. If we consider the neural network to be a black box, there will be three inputs and one output for this data. The three inputs are the three independent variables and the only output is the pecan production. In general, we can build a model with any number of inputs and any number of outputs, of course, depending on the data and the problem we are trying to solve. The input variables altogether are sometimes called an input vector. The output variables are called an output vector. For this pecan data example, there is just one output variable. In a linear regression unit, if there are multiple input variables, there is a weight for each variable. However, there is just one bias. That is, the linear unit will do this calculation, W1 times water, W2 times fertilizer, W3 times salinity, plus constant C for the bias. Okay, in a neural network, the input variables are sent to multiple neurons, where each neuron is nothing but a linear unit. In the starting stage, each neuron is such that whatever variables or numbers come in, it multiplies each variable by the associated W for that input variable and sums up all those. It adds the bias. So practically, a neuron does exactly what a linear unit does. After the calculation, the neuron sends the result to its output. Sometimes it does more, like it changes the output using another function called an activation function. But let us keep this video simple for now. In the beginning, all the input numbers or the x values go through multiple neurons. This first set of neurons through which all the inputs are passing by is known as a hidden layer. That is, a layer is nothing but a set of neurons. Each neuron receives inputs. For each input, it maintains a weight that it multiplies the input with, sums up all those multiplications, then adds the bias that the neuron maintains. After the first hidden layer, there can be another layer of neurons. Neurons of this second layer will take the outputs of the neurons of the previous layer as input. Each neuron of the second layer maintains weights for each input it receives. Again, each neuron also maintains a bias. That is, each neuron in the second layer is also a linear unit. There can be more layers. Each layer may have arbitrary number of neurons, except for the last layer. Regardless of how many layers we have, the last layer is the output layer. The number of neurons in the output layer depends on what we are trying to predict. The number of neurons in the layers in the middle can be arbitrary and it depends on the application. Our target for this pecan production data is to predict the pecan production, which is just one variable. Therefore, in the output, we just have one neuron with the computed output. Overall, this is the input layer just containing the independent variables. In this case, the values of water amount, fertilizer amount, and salinity level. Then we have multiple hidden layers. Then we have the output layer. The output layer has just one neuron because we have one dependent variable. We have not yet discussed how the modeling is done. Once the modeling is done, given water amount, fertilizer amount, and salinity level in the input layer, the neural network will output the predicted pecan production. The purpose of modeling is that all the weights and biases associated with all the neurons of the neural network will be optimized such that the prediction becomes most accurate. That is, the neural network optimizes the weights and biases of each neuron to make sure that the input vectors produce the expected output as seen in the data as much as possible. The calculation happens from left to right to create the final output. That is, the input values, 
water fertilizer salinity values pass through the neurons with calculations the output values of each neuron from the first hidden layer becomes input values for the second hidden layer neurons in the second hidden layer also do calculations and moves calculated outputs to the next layer so and so forth finally the output layer outputs the calculated value the optimization process is called training that is, in the training of the neural network, the W values and the BIOS values of all the neurons are determined for maximum overall accuracy. Once the weights and BIOS values are good to go, the model can predict. Let us now discuss how the modeling is performed, or in other words, how the neural network is trained.